Hello, this is Noe here, and I'm about to bring you Minecraft on the Xbox 360 console. This is, this is not my first time even though there's none there, it's just I'm doing a new profile for this. World name, see, snow, snowy, snow, let's play, oh, me. let's just put random. Do it on survival, hard. The create options is there's PvP, there's trust players, fire spreads, TNT. There is no host privi privileges. There's generate structures. We're not going to do super flat, and we're not doing a bonus chest. And let's see what we get. So yeah, I, I decided to do the Let's Play. I was debating on doing this on Oblivion, Skyrim, Minecraft, or the new Battlefield 4. And I decided I would start it out on Minecraft, because that seems like one of the easier ones to start it out with, see how it goes. And, ooh, we spawned... Oh, hold on. Gotta fix my settings. But yeah, I decided to do... Minecraft because it seemed like the easier one and it seems that we have just found my one of my favorite biomes, the snow biome. And yes, most people seem to hate it, but I really like the snow biomes. Don't know why, I just really do. I guess it, well, it could do the fact that I really like um, snow. I, since I lived in a desert, we didn't get much snow except for the winter. So it was kind of nice. And, well, let's see, forgot we have the map, oh yeah, I already know, let's see, and it looks like we're near a desert and a uh, swamp, it's like a swampy kind of, like, snow swamp biome with a desert next to it, and it's kind of cool. I, the recent worlds that I've done, they had, um, like, it was, everything was just snow, like, there would be a plains biome, and it would all be snow, it would have the, uh, normal oak trees, in the, oh, oh, it looks like the system stopped, hold on. This, for some reason, will happen whenever I start, like, a new, a new thing, a new person on the Minecraft. It seems it'll freeze a lot, and then after a while, it'll start playing normally. So if I, sorry you guys if I seem a little stuttery on this. This is the first one I've done. The only ones I've done is about medieval times. I've been trying to get videos up with, um, about... Oregon and uh, the Redmond, Redmond or, uh, area in Oregon. I got like the lava tubes and uh, the hiking. There's out in the desert. There's waterfalls. It, it's just amazing there. It's just truly amazing. Oh, signed in as wrong person. Um, sign out. Yes. Sign in. Some of these ones my friends have made, also, so, silly, that, you might have seen the Mind Melt one, that was my original U uh, YouTube name, 
Oh, this is no LP, but since I didn't save, we're gonna be starting in a new area. Possibly the same world, if just in a different spot, or a totally different world. Let's find out once it's done loading in the spawn area and all the chunks. But yeah, if you guys... Oh! Oh, we're underwater. Okay, I think he's about to kill me. And... Oh! And I think this might possibly be the same kind of world, just different area. I already know all this. I should probably turn that off, but... And no, I don't think it is, because it's near... It, it, we're in about the same area as we were when we first started the other world, and... There was a desert, and I don't see a desert on this one. At least yet, not yet. Man, these max is so much quicker on this. Last one. Last one. But yeah, if you guys end up having like any questions, then uh, I'll do certain, I'll do certain episodes to answer all your questions. And I have a feeling, because I see this a lot on ones that uh, they'll ask other people if they can play with them. Right now, you won't be able to at all with me. Because I'm gonna turn that down. Uh, because I don't have Xbox Live. So use it first. So, but once I get it, then I can probably play with you guys. But I'm not expecting. I'm not even expecting to probably get 10 views on this. Let alone like three what three likes. So I don't have very high expectations on this. On doing this. So, I'm hoping I'll be proven wrong by you guys. We'll find out. Now I'm digging the fine cobble. And, yeah. There it is. And I just dug out from underneath myself. I could possibly turn this into a mine and just live kind of near spawn or just have a little spot where I can keep uh, chests and stuff over by spawn, so if I ever die, which I'm pretty much guaranteeing will happen, and there's more sugar cane, okay, I'm getting off track, need to first make a stone pick, and then go make a stone sword for tonight, make an axe to get more wood, I like to use up my wooden pick first, because to me it just seems kind of like a waste, I spent the time to make, to get it, I'm gonna use it, and so yeah, let's see, oh, axe, so yeah, I'm thinking that while I'm, after I record this, and possibly get it uploaded today, I'm gonna try to start Battlefield 4 on a uh, video, and I've already beaten it before. I'm going through it again because there's three different endings. So, yeah, I, I didn't know. I want to uh, just let you guys know what else I'll be doing. I'll probably be doing a bit of Assassin's Creed. I have pretty much all of them. And that pig just despawns, so now I can't get it. Um, so, yeah. I'll be doing, like, uh, Assassin's Creed. I have the first one, the second one. Third, fourth, and Brotherhood. For Battlefield, all I have is the four. I have, well, as you can see, Minecraft. I should cut the sheep. Um, I, I'll be doing Oblivion, which is an Elder Scrolls game, and Skyrim, which is another Elder Scroll. Oblivion's the fourth, and Skyrim's the fifth. I might be getting Morrowind soon, so then I could probably do that too. I would like, kind of like me doing walk. There isn't, man, I should have left that cow, that pig alive. Or not pig, uh, chicken. I could have let it wander around and collect eggs. Oh, dude, there's another one. I don't need to worry. To get the cow and use its leather to make armor. I don't go down and get iron soon. Yep, achievement cow tipper. It's kind of cruel 
for it to be called Cow Kipper since there are people that'll go and like push cows over and apparently they can't get back up the way their body's made. Kind of like trying to teach someone or some or a pet a trick or someone to walk. Wow, it's not letting me jump. Okay, come on. I don't care. There we go. The stupid little things that tell you about stuff. What? Oh, that was, it was just telling me that I was running. Whew. I haven't played this in a while, so I thought it was telling me there's a zombie coming. Because I heard a zombie at the same time. So, yeah, I think I'm going to head this direction. It looks pretty cool. There's the mountain range. should probably get quite a bit more cobble to make myself a furnace. And, ooh, what's over here? Yeah, I would head down there right now, but I don't have torches. And yeah, that's basically it. I'm gonna probably try. I'm gonna try to get my house, uh, house set up, at least a little base set up. Get maybe some trees planted, some food growing at least. I can get cobble here. So this, that'll be about it that I'm gonna be doing on this episode. Maybe the next episode I'll try to find some more resources. And let me uh, let me know if you guys want me to like skip when I'm searching for resources or if you want to see me do that because it'll probably be kind of boring I'll just dig down to level 12 or bedrock or both and then just strip mine or just like kind of like make a square and then dig it all out ooh there's a desert maybe this let's see mm, yeah this might be actually the same world because I've had this done before where I, when I first started playing I would play and then I would get like so far but I had gotten like a lot of resources, basically food and sugar cane, cactus and blocks and stuff like that. And then it froze, didn't unfreeze, I sat there, for, I wanted to make sure it would un see if it would unfreeze or not. Sat there for about 10 minutes, didn't unfreeze and I lost all my progress. I spawned in in a totally different world. I was so mad, I went, logged out, logged back in, and then I spawned again. And I spawned in the same world, just maybe three to four blocks away from where I originally spawned the first time. Which I found pretty cool, in the same area I could find all of the same resources, I could get all of the food that I needed and everything, because, well, it spawned in more food this uh, that time than it did the time before. Actually, no, before I cook that, I learned, I found this little trick. If you go, instead of just cooking them, make the oak wood slab, since it duplicates it by three, and put those in there, it'll, it, it'll cook it longer, and it'll last long, and your wood will last longer. Especially since right here, I mean, the desert, this might be where I want to, I like, kind of set up, since, well, let's see, it's pretty high up. It's at 72, 73, but at the same time, there's not going to be any weather and stuff going on. It'll mostly just when there's weather weather going on, uh, there will whenever the weather's, weather, uh, weather, man, I can't speak. Whenever weather's going on, it'll just get dark gray, and I can set up a uh, little mob grinder and stuff. I Actually, I think I'm going to build up over by this water so I can find it easily. Actually, I should use dirt. And then I'm going to go and look to see if I can find a mob spawner. Ah, that hurt. Ooh. Let's grab what's in here. Come on, hurry, hurry. Put that in there. And let's see if we find a mob spawner. Hopefully there is. If we, if I find, if we find one, I hope it won't be spiders, because they're pretty easy to kill, but they're not the easiest to make a grinder for. In the world, which is what I got my name from, I named it Snowy Glory, because I lived in a snow biome, and it, it was just amazing. But, um, I, the only spawner that I found was, that wasn't, like, un, way underground, it was above ground, was a spider one. And, well, I ended up 
making it into a grinder. I was going to have them fall, but I figured they'd stick to the walls. So instead of trying, instead of going and doing all the things to figure out how to stop them from sticking to the walls, so I just I'd put them in one water canal. They'd go into this uh, one spot, which is actually not too far away from the spawner. It's maybe it's like just outside of spawn range. So then more would spawn. And well, I would just sit there and hit them with my sword, and sometimes they'd get stuck, so I went and got an infinity bow. And then I would just shoot them. And I should probably head back. It's gonna be dark, I don't have armor. I have food and a sword, but I don't have armor. And I, if I get back, I'll get. Oh, well, I will get back in time, but I'll have enough time to make a bed and we can continue. Cook up the rest of my food, then we can set out. And see what else there is, and there it is. And I think I might have pop passed by a, a, an area where a spawner could be. I'll go back and check after the episode, maybe during. I'll just, yeah, I think after when I go to cook the last piece of food, I'll go and check. Because right now, I just want to find a little spot to set up. I could set up just right here for t for this episode. And, leave this episode short, see how it does, but I might not do that, might go on, if I do cut it short, or well, even if I uh, make have it go long, I'm going to go and just, I won't do anything off camera, and I'll see what you guys say, if anyone comments or even see in my video since there's so many great YouTubers out, which I watch a lot, a lot of them. Uh, yeah, I'm having a hard time speaking right now. And yeah, I watch a lot of them. They get tons of views. And whoa, okay, this is what I saw. It didn't look like it's gonna be a spawner. It looks like it's kind of like an underground ravine sort of thing. No, nope, this is not a spawner, is it? No. Hmm. Okay, well, actually, I should. Uh, I'll make my way back, but I'll be going over this way. Because, well, I'll just see how this video goes. I'll, I'd like to either live in a desert or a snow biome. The desert will give me a bit, probably, more room to build. Since um, I don't know how many people are really into redstone, but I really like redstone. I'll, I make all kinds of things. I can probably do a little short video of uh, the world on my other player that has to do with... That is my Snowy Glory map. And I can show you some of the redstone. That one I did create in survival. I played for it. I played in it for a long time in survival, but then I ended up going into creative to build some things. I can show you and tell you what is and isn't in, uh, built in creative. It's, I, I really like it. It's just it kind of sucks when it snows because I can't see as well. And the fact that it's a snow biome, the ground gets covered in snow and it deletes your red, it, it erases your redstone from off the ground. So you gotta cover up all your redstone. It's a bit of a pain, but. I still really like the biome. Do I have mushrooms? Yes. Need to find red. Actually, I can look for red ones right now. But I may have to go to the nether to find red ones easily. Because I know the red ones are pretty rare. If I could find... If there's a mushroom island in this one, that'd be awesome. I seem to have some pretty good luck with finding those mushroom biomes or islands. Uh, about half my worlds, I find them. The very first world that I created, it turned out to be mostly all water, and I was on this tiny little island with no trees. I created it in uh, creative though, because I wanted to make like a little zoo, but I had it in peaceful, so they wouldn't, the creepers and stuff wouldn't spawn. So I, it kind of bummed me out. I didn't really want to, so I went and created my second world, which was. I believe Snowy Glory, and I'm starving, and I really like that one, on, but on, back to what I was talking about with the biomes, my, uh, first, the first world I made, I was on a tiny little island, no trees, nothing, surrounded by water, there was just this one, there's this giant mushroom biome, 
right in front of me. And I thought that was a pretty cool thing that, uh, and it was full of mushrooms. But I couldn't make any bowls to, uh, get, the, get my mushroom stew from them. And I also, they all seemed to hate the island. They all left. And then, well, uh, and since I didn't have any, like, wheat seeds or anything, I couldn't even go and, like, trap them in a hole or anything. I'd have to go push them in. And, well, that wouldn't really work out. They're all in the water or off the island. But, and, well, and then in my uh, second world, or, well, Snowy Gory, there weren't any mushroom biomes, but I live in, I would live in a snow biome, which, it was pretty cool. Then uh, I had a desert right next to it, so at night or whenever I wanted to go and uh, grind for XP, and I didn't have a mob spawner yet or a mob grinder, I would just go out there and fight off the mobs for the night. Or I would go and uh, like if I needed TNT, I'd go out there and I'd fight creepers. Or if I wanted a music disc, I'd hit a creeper twice and have a skeleton shoot him. And it would drop the music disc as long as it did kill him. If it didn't, well, uh, it was hope, then you better hope that the skeleton hurry been shot again before the creeper blew up. And yeah, if, uh, if I show you guys the, that world, you'll probably notice there's a lot of holes in the ground. And then I did build... Like a mob, a mob grinder in the overworld, which was actually, um, which was actually above ground. And you know, what, you guys, I'm gonna cut it short right here, right where the Enderman is. And goodbye.